You can access the entire episode now on our website, ForbiddenKnowledge.news, Rumble, and all podcast platforms. What I wonder is if this connects to, like you mentioned, there's been portal activity in the area, and I'm wondering if there could be any possible connection because your experience seemed to be benevolent but this missing hiker who's never to be seen again what is happening in these single experiences very difficult to say i can tell you that we have had other folks report um this time and space displacement while traveling through the wilderness areas in the gorge so it's not uh a, a phenomenon that only i'm experiencing out here we did have a really remarkable portal story uh, come in about a month ago, maybe six weeks ago. And this gentleman was on the desert side of the gorge, um, a little bit north of the river. And he was driving through the desert and he thought he saw what looked like a lighted sign for an Indian casino. And as he got close to it, he realized, nope, this is a full on portal. And so he parked his car and was looking straight at it. And he said, that um, out of it emerged this floating dark metallic cube and it came right out of the portal. He had a Nokia phone at the time, one of those flip phones, and he tried to take a picture of it, but his hand got bumped and he dropped the phone. And um, But he reported this thing, this cube, this dark metallic cube came out of the portal and then flew down the gorge at a high rate of speed. A year later, he was going through his phone and he realized there was one picture that was unopened. And lo and behold, it was a picture of this portal with this cube as clear as day. Um, And he said, you know, you're like the second person I've ever told about this. Um, And so we do get these like really weird, seemingly verified. I didn't see the picture myself when we were talking on the phone and um, we were actually having a conversation about something else. And he said, oh, you know, I've had some weird experiences out there too. Um, and so, uh, and we, we hear stories like that. There's a couple other portal stories like that in the area. I don't know what to make of it. Um, you know, I've had the experience myself and I can tell you like the mental editing was utterly seamless. I have no idea when my consciousness turned off or even like when it really turned back on again or what happened in between there. It was just literally that same experience of like waking up from a dream and being a little bit like, oh, disoriented and then really, oh, oh, where am I? Oh, I'm here. Like that's exactly how it sort of went. And other than the fact that I was in a place that I absolutely did not expect to be in at all, I, I don't have any real information about what happened or why it's really disconcerting but kind of awesome for the last few minutes i don't think we've ever touched on any of the anomalous lights uaps ufos that have been seen in the area have you had any personal experience with these oh yeah in fact i've got a picture so we have um numerous folks reporting um i'm going to share my screen right now uh glowing orbs uh uaps that take this form i'm gonna put on my glasses so i can see what i'm talking about all right so can you see my screen right now okay so this is an area maybe four or five minutes from the store uh it's called the spring creek hatchery and you can look down the gorge here and i saw this i was taking pictures of this really remarkable beam of light i thought oh that's really interesting uh as i was going back through my photos this shows up so I think oh, yeah. you can see this really clear blue glowing orb. And when I first thought, I thought, oh, is that a lens flare? Well, the answer is absolutely not. So this camera has taken pictures of lens flares with lens flares in them before. The lens flares on this camera are always perfectly circular and they're perfectly a solid color. And you can see in this one, there's information inside of the orb. It's also not perfectly circular. Also, when there's a lens flare, there is a bright source of light directly behind the flare. In this case, you can see the direction of light is not coming from behind, it's coming straight down. So the odds of this being a lens flare, very, very small. Now, people say, oh, it's some reflection of headlights. Well, this is a car with its headlights on, and this is a truck. 
So it's really clear that how this could become a reflection, a refraction of headlights, um, it's not. That's not a very strong explanation for what's going on here. It looks like it has this now, haze around it too. Yes, and so typically when you have a lens flare, that haze will have a shape to it that is in front of the light source. Um, and this one is just a sort of like glowing all around it in a weird and strange way. So yeah, my wife and I, so this is one that I did not see at the time I was there, um, but it showed up in the picture. But my wife and I have seen them with our naked eyes. We've had multiple reports of other folks seeing them with their naked eyes. The three colors we typically hear about are white, blue, and red. Now, there was a guy driving down the other side. This is the Oregon side on the left and the Washington side on the right. He was driving down the Oregon side and he saw a white orb flying over the river. And at the time there was a highway patrolman driving near him and they were both looking at each other like, are you seeing this thing that I'm seeing? And then this white glowing orb dove into the river and they could see its light underwater. Uh, so again, one of these weird stories of these glowing orbs. Now, this mountain here that this is at the base of is called Underwood Mountain. And in February of 2023, uh, someone filed a report of, because they had taken this picture um, and we did some image enhancement on it. And this is what it looks like sort of blown up and enhanced. And you can see that this is a something that looks very much like the Tic Tac shaped UFOs that you see on the Navy fighter gun cams. Uh, there are no wings and no rotors. And um, having been a mountain guide for many, many years, I can tell you this is not a lenticular cloud or some type of other um, formation like that. So again, we've got um, UFOs on the top of Underwood Mountain, uh, glowing orb photographs at the base of the mountain. People who live on the mountain have reported seeing glowing orbs as well. So yeah, lots of very strange activity in that vein. Um, and then of course, by Mount Adams, it's a freaking light show every night. Like there are uh, craft. Now, some people say that there is an actual uh, physical hangar door on Mount Adams. And so here's a picture of Mount Adams. Uh, and then this is what people say is the hangar door that opens and closes and they see lights flying in and out wow, of that thing. Interesting. Yeah. So lots of strange stuff. Yeah. Going on now, sure. have any of the UFO sightings coincided with any other activity for any people who have reported them, such as missing time or other sightings of humanoids or beings? Um, so we have had, uh, again, numerous reports of triangular shaped UFOs. Um, I wonder if I've got a picture. So I had AI generate some images. Let's see if I've got that. Um, yeah, so we have reports of these triangular black shaped UFOs. Interestingly, there is a US patent filed for right. triangular shaped <laughs> spacecraft. Um, so there are really two ways that this gets reported. One is this large flying triangular shaped UFO, uh, typically very, very large, moving slow. So some people say it looked like it was two to three football fields across. Uh, other times this is depicted as being cloaked and people see starlight wrapping around it. Uh, it's most noticeable. People are most easy to identify it like during sunrise and sunset, which is what this, you know, depiction is trying to trying to show there. Um, and so we don't know exactly what's going on. These things, whether they're man-made or um, something else, but definitely part of the things that are experienced out here in the mm -hmm. gorge. Oftentimes in some of these areas, there are reports of some of these gray extraterrestrial type creatures. Have they had any reports of these beings? Well, the closest I can show you on that one is this thing right here. So this creature was seen actually by one of my employees and we used AI to go through a number of different variants. He was driving through the desert uh, early in the morning. It was like one or two o'clock in the morning. 